I almost thought he was the favorite the entire offseason. Until has met Leather, and we are underway. And the first touch is for Kenneth Walker. And a breakaway down on the far sideline. And Kenneth Walker will take it to the house. What a night for him out of nearby Naperville. In high school, the top-rated quarterback in the state. And here's more. Walker gets the edge again. Tripped up inside the five. And a run it with Walker. Terrific change of direction. Touchdown. And Kenneth Walker showing off. This time, watch the stop start. He gets to the middle, stops off that right foot. He comes from a family of football players and coaches. His father, his grandfather's. We'll run it again with Walker in the spin. And a 14 to nothing lead for the Spartans through the first. And they will run it with Kenneth Walker out across midfield in a gain of seven, and that'll move the chains. They have brought their uh, secondary back up much closer to the line of scrimmage here. And the run from Kenneth Walker sliding down at the 41-yard line. They will hustle to the line of scrimmage. He'll get the call. He's got the first down out across the 35-yard line. Jalen Naylor with a nice block and a gain of nine. The H-back. Walker, a little bit of a delay, and it's a foot race for the pylon, and Kenneth wins it, diving in for the touchdown. And Kenneth Walker with the hat trick. This is all want to. He knows where that pylon is. Virgin knows where that pylon is. It's a race. And number nine wins the race with the extension for the touchdown. Brandon Joseph still been waiting for him to make that big play for this defense. 200 yards rushing on the ground. Walker will add to that total and more. He's already got three touchdown runs. Kenneth Walker caught and hauled down at the 25. Still got over 10 minutes to go. More Walker. Another big run, down to the 15. Walker, first down. And a first and goal for Michigan State. Pretty much sealing the game for the Spartans. Walker bounces to the outside. Looking for a block downfield inside the 10 yard line. And it's first and goal. Talk about setting the bar high in your debut. <laughs> Walker, can he get a fourth touchdown? He can, diving into the end zone. He has four touchdowns in a game for Michigan State. Edwin Baker did it back in 2010. The suddenness in his cuts. Just watch the cuts, it's the suddenness. It's he gets everybody going one way. Walker still in the backfield and avoiding a couple of tacklers. And this is all Kenneth Walker the third. Creating some distance and some yardage, turning something out of nothing. Is the Spartan who's in that left tackle spot. And, and a lot of people watching that game last week against Northwestern credited Walker and Thorne's reaction. Nine of 13 passing here this afternoon to Walker. Walker to the 30-yard line, and he's picked up the first down. And just sorting away the seconds. Here's Walker. And he's tough to bring down, isn't he? Naylor in motion. They're going to give it to Walker, who cuts back and pushing his way for the touchdown. The touchdown party at MSU, and everyone has been invited today. We've seen the elusiveness and speed of Kenneth Walker. This time, some determination, some power. Getting a little help from his friends. After a loss of two, Walker up the middle. Walker, seven carries, only eight yards. There's a little option. There's a flip. Walker is smacked down near the 25. He's going to be about a yard shy of the first down. Set them back. Spartans good field position on first down. And here's a good run for Kenneth Walker the third. There's Walker looking for a lane. He has it. Walker. On first 
first and ten. And Walker from behind. Meaning those guys in the back, Hay Hayward will insert on the linebacker. As Walker runs hard. Wildcat. Walker takes the snap. Rome. Walker. Feet stretching down near the one. They hand off. Pounding ahead. Jaden Reed. How valuable he can be. This is Walker. Hammering straight ahead. You've got Reed man to man on the bottom of your screen. They'll send him in motion here. Walker sticks his foot in the ground, gets to the outside. Walker dives. Touchdown. Via the passing game. This is second and eight. Walker has a lane. Stiff on to the outside. Gets inside the 10. Thorne under center on the delay. Walker. Skipping to the outside, tries to hurdle one defender, keeps the legs going, dives to the pylon, touchdown! Look at the effort here. Beanie Bishop comes low, he hurdles him, and then a little strength, and he reaches for the pylon. I think he breaks the pylon and the plane. Both of these quarterbacks throw a really nice ball. Thorne puts it in the belly. Walker turns the outside, gets inside the 40, lost his balance there. Second down and 10. Walker has some room. Cuts it back, gets into the second level. Brings it inside the huge showdown. It's all next Saturday on the Big Ten Network. Fox and the Fox Sports app. Back to business with Walker rumbling inside the 10. First and goal. Give it to him again. Snaking his way to the interior. Keeps the feet moving. Gets wrapped up and finished off. Reed in motion, already with two TDs tonight. Walker fidgets and scores. Ability to make people miss in tight windows. Watch Walker going against Kincaid, one of the best tacklers on that Hilltopper defense. As we look forward to the future with college athletics. Commissioner of the Big Ten Conference, Kevin Warren, joining us. Thanks so much for your insight. We appreciate it. Well, thank you all. It's a great night. This is second and ten. Four wideouts in the pattern. He'll stay on the ground with Walker. Walker, a couple of first half touchdown runs. Western Kentucky falling short on a 17 play drive that lasted close to six minutes. That's an eternity for them. Peyton does the job the way the Michigan State coaches want him to. Walker spun around, flung down to the turf. Reaching for that leg. Back to work come the Spartans. Staying on the ground. But they can't review it because it's a late hit, not a targeting. Walker lunging forward inside the Western Kentucky 35. The transfer from Wake Forest behind Thorne in the pistol. Walker gets inside the 50. Just over five to go in the fourth. Walker streamlining towards the end zone, just brought down shy of it. They do start with Walker in the backfield, and Walker gets the first carry. This is what number nine does. Walker, what he does so well, making men miss. Behind Ohio State, I assume. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ohio State who won big here at SHI Stadium last week. And look at Walker, this time taking the pass. Now Peyton Thorne and company return to the fold. Here's Kenneth Walker right up the middle. Ooh. He almost broke it. Let's go down to Rick. Well, you could just hand it to Reed. <laughs> it's easy as well. Here they do hand it to Walker. Kenneth Walker. Upended by Izian. Walker again. First down. Lower in the shoulder at 210 pounds. Asked to change positions. And now Walker. You listen to Coach Tucker. They ask you in camp to change to tight end. He just keeps playing hard for the Spartans. Yeah, great locker room guy. Walker. Oh. 
Second and 14, they'll try again. But this will help get him some breathing room. Walker, Walker, across the 30, still on his feet. There he goes, Kenneth Walker. He's going to go all the way. One play, 94 yards for Kenneth Walker the third. Kenneth Walker the third. You see the offensive line get the hole. What's impressive is right here. He's not finished. Let me put a little move that time on Avery Young. He gets help, some blocking from his wide receivers, and then has enough gas in the tank. A little high five with Jalen Naylor. He was asked about being the Heisman winner, possibly, or at least in the contention for it this year. And he said he wrote down that goal on March 8th after getting to East Lansing that he wanted to contend to be a Heisman winner this year. And only two catches for 17 so far in this one. Walker. Stiff arm. Stays on his feet. And he's going to be close to the marker. Third and one. Walker got tackled forward to pick it up. That might be my favorite celebration so far this season is the casual handshake. He's looking for 200 yards. He's too short. And now he's up over 200 and then some. Walker lost a shoe. Doesn't, I don't think he even needs shoes. Always hardworking men and women of our crew, of our crew. thank you for joining us. Kenneth Walker. And he won't get the first down, but that makes the field goal much more manageable. Action shots come off of it, and Peyton hasn't missed too many of them. Well, they start on the ground with the nation's leading rusher as Kenneth Walker gets tripped up by Cam Jones. Explosive difference makers. Walker again right up the middle. This would be a good matchup today when you look at Micah McFadden in the middle of that defense going up against Kenneth Walker. Walker spins, has the first down, and just continues to pick up yards after contact. One of the very best, the best in the country at that. On second and short, he is able to fall forward. Right near by the line to gain Cam Jones on the tackle. First and ten. Walker trying to break one still today. To Walker trying to bounce and but move the pile forward Things getting a little chippy out there Walker bulldozing his way forward Walker with room into the next level Contact with Pierre Naylor wins it again and that time a throw on the money it sounded like a whistle. Everybody stopped and then they started again. What was that? Oh, Walker bring up third and short. He almost sneaks through there. First and ten on the 26. Kenneth Walker. Walker into the second level. Just shy of the first down. Give it to him again. Tries to bounce it out. He's got the first down. And stays in bounds. Smart. These two guys are explosive and get down the field. Eight of 16 on the first play. Now Walker with a burst. And he'll gain six and a half, maybe seven. They have given up big plays in the last few games. Walker again. He'll stretch it out. Near side. And he'll pick up good yardage. Brad Hawkins. With you. And the Spartans. Kenneth Walker. Touchdown, Michigan State. 27 yards. Great running backs take a broken play, something that looks like nothing, and they turn it into huge explosive plays. Look at Walker as he finds the space. The only question is, did he have control right when he crossed the goal line? They'll take a look, and it looks like he does, but my goodness. That ball just slipping out of his hand as he was going across, and they will take a deeper look at this in review.
That was awfully close. The run was fantastic for Mel Tucker. Nothing there on the front side, and yet he keeps himself alive. That's the vision I was talking about. He creates the explosive, gets around the edge, and then it looked like that ball just started coming loose from his hand as he was going across the plane of the goal line. This will be a tough look because it won't be down the line, but you see as it starts to leave the crease of that elbow, that would be where you would signify control lost. Wow. It'll be very tough. I think it's going to be very tough to overturn that. Walker leads the nation in yards after contact. Road win. First and ten of the 25. And it's Walker breaks it outside. Walker gets a block. Walker on his feet. Walker finally slums down as he crosses the 40 by Green. 68 yards. He's averaging 8.5 a pop. They give it to him again. Stretching it out. He breaks it back. Breaks the tackle and glides close to the first down. Michigan has struggled giving up the big play. They lose people in coverage, and here, misaligned at the snap again. Flag on the play, Walker! Touchdown, Spartans! But let's see! Right back in this game. 14-13. No gain, second and 10 at the 10. Thorne, near side, Walker, Walker, skipping. And he'll get across the first down. Here's a handoff. Kenneth Walker. Walker. Spartan quickly to the line of scrimmage. Walker. Can he get in? Touchdown, MSU! Peyton Thorne delivers with a beautiful ball to the corner. And then now it's about effort. The second effort from Kenneth Walker pushing, getting a little help from 79. Michigan State quickly to the line of scrimmage. Third down and three. Walker. Kenneth Walker. Walking him down. 58 yards. Touchdown, Sparty. Great job by the right tackle on Curry and Kevin Jarvis. The right guard watches they're able to seal the right side of the defense. That's the seal block that Kenneth Walker needs, and you only need to give him a little gap. And there's the home run speed. The nation's leading rusher takes it the distance. Great vision finding the hole. Michigan State. Walker slashing. And Walker will pick up eight, maybe nine. And Wildcat formation. Walker takes the snap. Walker breaks through and picks up a first down. Ross with the tackle. Here's the give. Walker! Kenneth Walker! Touchdown, Smarty! We're going to influence out with Hayward. That pulls the linebacker, Safety Hawkins, out. At that point, Thorne, all he's got to do is read the unblocked player. He squeezes outside, stays outside. They give it to Walker. They split Thorne out wide, and they got Walker here with the direct snap. On third down and one, finds a hole, gets enough to move the sticks to the 34-yard line. Here's Walker trying to get the edge, stiff-arming, and thrown out of bounds at the 11-yard line. Tackle throws and draws a flag, marginal call. On second and 25, Walker not much running room. Grounded at the 26, so a gain of four. Second down and 11 after the one-yard loss. Thorne with a quick throw. Walker out of the backfield. You see the speed of Walker. So 13 touches already for Walker. As Thorne keeps it here, he's a very capable runner. And he scoots out of play close to the first down. First and ten. It's going to be Walker again between the tackles. Puts the shoulder into the defender. Had five touchdowns rushing against Michigan last week. And he's going to keep it here. Knocked down short of the line to gain. So third down coming up. On fourth down and two. They just give it to Walker. Trying to get the edge. He does. And he's got the end zone for the touchdown. 
right here. They're able to seal the edge right there at the point of attack. Cameron Brown, or sorry, Jamari Brown, seven, gets caught looking inside. Montori Foster, somebody they needed to step up here today. Here's Walker getting the carry, finds some room across the 40, keeps going in the Purdue territory, inside the 40, all the way to the 35. So a big run by Kenneth Walker. Clean this surest tackler on the back end, if and when Walker gets out. Walker again. A step by Ahmad McCullough. All the way back to seventh grade, thousands and thousands and thousands of reps. Walker is still looking to get loose for the first time. He sheds the first man and stiff arms his way with his first big run of the evening. Across the 35-yard line, 23 yards for Kenneth Walker. On the 12th play of the drive. Try Walker again. Crashes inside the three and Walker. down to the two. Bunch of bodies all around him when he's getting the ball. Stick with him on third and one, and he's got it up. So I think a couple things here. I think what you feel, and Jay Johnson, the OC, one of my favorites to watch and study. On third and three, he'll look to throw, and out of the backfield, it's Kenneth Walker. There you go. Walker in the passing game, just his 11th catch this year, and it goes for... Nicknamed the bird, and he is set to fight both their careers. Option play. Walker lowers the shoulder and gets to the five. Second and quarterback Rumble behind him. They try Walker again. This time there's a hole, and there's the 16th rushing touchdown of the year for Kenneth Walker. Right here, if you get that movement right at the point of attack, you're gonna get yards. Whether that's Jordan Simmons. 50 seconds, two timeouts. Michigan State will look to throw on the first play of the drive, and it's Walker for his second down. He gets to the edge, turns the corner. And the Spartans have it first down from the Maryland 13. Bounce into the outside. First and goal, Michigan State. Mosley and Bennett combine in the tackle. A intentional grinding, just can't have it. Walker, first play of the drive. Gets around the corner. Pushed out after six or seven. So, Spartan offense back out there with a fresh set of downs. And Kenneth Walker bouncing left side. Stiff arms, Bennett. Fights him out of bounds. It's five on first. Two touchdowns. He's over 100 yards now. They go back to the ground. Kenneth Walker, a seam off the left side. Hits the sideline. Kenneth Walker inside the 25. 32 yards. He's making another man miss. Averages eight and a half a, a game. And how you do that. How much strength that that requires to put your... Watch the walk around the backfield. Hands it off. Walker to the three. Got both those things at Michigan State. He's got three straight carries here. This one is in the end zone. Touchdown, Kenneth Walker and Michigan State. A constricted fist to try to tackle. Right? There just is not much surface area when he puts his pads down, and we know how much power he generates. Second carry for Walker. Trademark stiff arm gets him some space. Walker makes a nice cut. Kenneth Walker shows you why he's been the most productive running back in the country. That was a terrific run. That they're going to take the fight to Ohio State, but like you said, yet you get down four touchdowns in a blink of an eye. You also asked about that pass defense. He says, that was the problem for Penn State last week in their win against Rutgers. They had a number of players start the game and had a hard time continuing. Walker patiently waiting to turn the corner. Public address announcer said <laughs> Walker right. on the carry. I wasn't sure, so I didn't say anything. Appreciate your help. There's Walker to the goal line for a touchdown for the Spartans. What a first season it's been as a Spartan for the Wake Forest transfer, Walker. 
74 yard touchdown drive. The Spartans begin from their own one. Walker, huge hole. Kenneth Walker trying to outrun Jair Brown, who took him down. Watch the block by Hayward, number 11, on Jaquan Brisker, who's always up around the football. That was the key block, the tight end Hayward. On his way to 264 yards for the day. That'll make the presence known as well. Here he comes again. Wrestled down from behind by Curtis Jacobs after he crossed midfield. But he's been a great addition to that defense also. Walker. Chuck Long second, Robbie Bosco third. Kenneth Walker adding to that rushing total across midfield.